Hello, Rebecca here filming a video for Go Go Getaway. And today I'm showing you this layout, which is inspired by this mood board. And the mood board is forming part of our International Scrapbook Day event for 2021. Um, so I will be using the Garden Party Collection by Maggie Holmes. And I've started by sketching out the shape of this stencil from Bramble Fox. This is stencil number 19. Um, so with my mood board I wanted to have a nod to each of the elements, each of the photographs in the mood board. Um, so here I am using this sort of radiating uh, circle pattern um, as a nod to the big wheel which is one of the images in the mood board. Um, so I am just using my pen to go through those lines on there with a grey fine liner. Um, I'm about to extend some of those lines um, with my ruler just to make them a little bit longer um, so I can add my photo on top of that pattern. Now I'm adding some paints. These are the Cambella Handmade Watercolours. That little tin there is the Beyond Wonderland tin. So I'm adding some greens and some blues, just some of the colours from the mood board. And now I'm going in with the set Prickly Pear, which is also from Cambella. Um, handmade watercolours, beautiful watercolours and they have a lovely reflective shine when they're dry. So again I'm sticking to the colours that are in the mood board or as close as possible. So just adding a little bit of splatter just to add a sort of vintage vibe. There's quite a vintage distressed vibe to the mood board in general. And I've selected a paper here. This is the blooming paper from the Garden Party collection. Uh, one of the images in the mood board, um, there's a lady sitting in a car and she has a floral dress, which looks very similar um, to this floral. So I've used the same technique with the uh, stencil to paper piece some of the pattern paper into place just so that I could get the correct shape for the paper. And I'm working out where I'd like those pieces of paper to sit. I'd still like to have some white space in some of those gaps. I don't want them all to be filled with colour. So adding those in. My photograph there is my very, very favourite photograph of all time. Um, I've never scrapped it before. I didn't ever feel that I could do it justice, um, but I thought I really just have to get it scrapped. And so it, that is actually why I've used this photo um, to do with the quote. Um, for some moments in life, there are no words. And this was just one of those moments. Um, it's just profoundly happy. And it, I just, I'll never forget it. It was just my little boy reaching up to play with a balloon at a party. And there was a photographer there. We didn't... Um, know that that photograph was being taken so it's really natural and just just one of those moments in life so i'm going through the ephemera pack and adding some layers behind my photograph um, just in some various colors i just want some layers um, but not, not too much And working out again, once my photo's in place, will I have enough colour showing? 
Um, so I've gone back in with that prickly pear set of watercolours and I'm just adding some of that yellow. The mood board is quite a muted, soft uh, colour tone but with punches of bright colour so I wanted to have a similar feel to the page. Muted colours but with punches of colour. So I'm just trying to salvage some of those little cards there. I just want a sliver um, to, to be showing. So I've chopped some off to save and use it at another point and adding those into my layer behind my photograph. So adding some more layers, there's some gold foils on one of the tags there. And some torn edges as a nod to the distressing in some of the images. There's um, a rusty door and some old bottles. Um, so I wanted to have a, a distressed element to the page. So using the same technique with the stencil to paper piece a vellum uh, sunbeam ray, I suppose you could call it. I'm just creating a faux shaker pocket. Well, it is a shaker pocket um, with some little sequins that will be added in into one of those sunbeams. That is really just to continue on the um, the confetti inside the balloon that's in the photograph. So those are big dots sprinkles from Little Things by Lucy's Cards and they will go into that gap behind the vellum there. The sequins act as a nod to the bottle image in the mood board, um, just to have something that's quite reflective and shiny as a nod to those bottles in the mood board. So I'm tearing the top of that down with some washi tape. And now I'm going in with another stencil from Bramble Fox. This is the Fox Cut number 11. It comes in a set of two. And I'm just using some of the diamonds in that pattern, in that stencil, as create a pattern in the background. Um, and those diamonds are inspired by the diamond image in the mood board. I'm painting those using some embellishment mousse uh, in the shade Coastal Surf. So I'm adding a slight uh, little bit of journaling there with some stamps from Hobbycraft. They have a typewriter typeface font and that is another nod to the typewriter image from the mood board. I've used some Peacock Feathers Distress ink as my ink um, in this sort of turquoise shade which is a nod to the image in the mood board where there's a rusty turquoise door with a lock. Um, so I wanted to have a pop of turquoise on there. So in the background there you can see I have added some stitching on the sunbeam rays and that is in reference to the mood board image of thread. Um, so I wanted to add some stitching on the layout. Also added some texture in the background as well. Those are some of the puffy stickers going on from the Garden Party collection and just some of the ephemera pieces. So I've used that little ticket stub there um, as a nod to the big wheel image um, sort of referencing fun fairs and entrance tickets and things from the mood board and again there with a little pop of brighter colour using that bow and 
Now that is some cool bond gold metallic thread going there in a little thread bundle. And lastly, I am adding in some more sequins. These are the shade Tiara from Lucy's Little Things from Lucy's Cards. And I adhere those down to the layout, just sprinkled across the page. I've also added a few more diamonds um, using the stencil and the Nouveau Mousse, because I'd covered a few with the perspectives title there. So that's my finished layout. I hope you enjoyed that. There will be some close-ups coming now. And thanks for watching.